afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Toronto Blue Jays and the New York Yankees. It's baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Jordan Montgomery a hurler from South Carolina will be the starting pitcher in this one. Dan any thoughts really like this guy he reminds me a lot of Andy Pettit left hander from the University of South Carolina not an overpowering fastball kind of like Andy Pettit low to mid 90s fastball good curveball his secondary pitches he needs to improve on a little bit but this guy has a bright future quality arm from the left side stepping into the box Bo Bichette he will lead this one off today and that's in there for strike one. First pitch, one o'clock. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch takes this the other way to right. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first down. Taking another look at it. The ball has some top spin on it but he's on the full run and dives to make the catch. Nice defensive play right there. Stepping in for the Jays Kevin Biggio as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. infield in the overshift here now the pitch ball. a ball and no strikes game time temperature this afternoon stuck in an even 50 degrees as we begin play the 1 0 home ah. and there is our officiating crew in this one calling balls and strikes Mr. Freddie Ferguson. Hey D. Rowe, you better be ready to swing particularly at that low pitch Freddie Ferguson low ball umpire. Yeah it makes it tough on the offense. I, I was a guy who liked the low ball but that usually means those guys are susceptible to that slider in the dirt. You have to see the ball up and this guy doesn't give you a chance. Can't connect there it's two and two. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. At the plate, Lourdes Guriel. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Two and zero oh to the Jays left fielder. Three and zero oh now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut and he's looking to do damage. Hard hit ball to second. LeMayhew's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. Blue Jays nothing. Yankees coming to bat. Major League Baseball on the show. Tanner Roark. A right-hander from Illinois will be the starter here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Tanner Roark a lot of times gets lost in the shuffle. Really good sinking fastball. Former reliever that worked his way into the starting rotation. 93 to 95 miles an hour would sink. Power slider. Good changeup. I'd like to see him use the changeup a little bit more. Quality three-pitch mix. A pitcher and not a thrower. 
Here comes Brett Gardner now as he'll lead things off in the home first. Heading out towards shallow right. Fisher's under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Batting second. Not shortstop. Waver. Torres. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. His career line against Roark up until this point. Pretty good success. He's four for five. He's taken him deep once. Ball. And this misses outside and a bit high. One ball, no strikes. Torres is a prolific power hitter, and you probably didn't need me to tell you that. Doesn't matter what kind of pitching he faces, there's a lot of pop in that bat. Yeah, this guy absolutely does not discriminate, and you could close your eyes during batting practice and know exactly who's hitting the baseball in the cage. Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at 2-1. and one. Lifted down the line in left. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Bases are empty. One man out. And that's low. So a good eye there as he works the count back full. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Nice two-seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge as he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. The 0 1. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to 1 and 1. That's a great pitch for a spot like that. It looks like a strike that it just comes in out of the zone. If you can command that with movement, it's a very effective pitch to pitching hitters inside. Grounded back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So the Yanks go 1 2 3. Still no score. Second inning set to go. And now the Toronto number four hitter, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Number 27. Here's the first pitch to him. And a curveball in for a strike. Yeah, he made up his mind early to take the first pitch because that thing was right down the middle. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. This is skied into short left center. Stanton comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. That is it. The first baseman, number three, Brandon Drury. Standing in, Brandon Drury. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the pitch. Ball one. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. That is it. The center fielder, Randall. So bases are empty here with two gone and the big right handed bat of Randall Grichuk saunters into the batter's box next. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Sends that one out of play for strike one. 
had to be sitting something hard right there because he gave up on that pitch but it was right down the chute. The wind up and the 0 1. That's a ball. Off speed pitch here but it dips below the knees evening right. us at 1 and 1. No score here as we play inning number two. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. The 2 2. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Gardner going back to the track. Gone! Randall Grichik leaves the yard with a solo shot. As the Jays get the game's first tally, it's one to nothing. Well, how do you beat the shift? You hit it over the shift, of course. You can't play guys up in the sky, so he lifts this one up and out of here. To Oscar Hernandez digging in now. As the fastball is swung on and missed. Good location down at the knees for strike one. Oh, one pitch on its way. Oh, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. Down 0 2 to a guy with this much weaponry, five pitches he can go to, not looking good. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. The one two is looked at for ball number two. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Jay's off to a good start thanks to the solo shot. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 1-0 Toronto. Leading off the inning, Giancarlo Stanton as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Center fielder giving chase, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Batting fifth, the second baseman, DJ. So the bases are empty with one man gone and that'll bring in DJ LeMayhew. Here comes the first pitch. And that's inside for a ball one and oh. One out nobody on. Ball and a strike. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. And the 2-1. And here's a ball hit in the air. 
Right fielder is on the run, but this will land untouched. Chopped to third, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Batting fifth. Striding into the box, Mike Ford. First pitch of the at bat. And that's high for a ball, 1 0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Two, two out, nobody on. The count now at 2-1. and one. And the pitch. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. Three and one pitch. And this will be nowhere close as his control deserts him here. It's a five pitch walk. The hitter was dug in looking for something to hit, but he would have needed a telephone pole to hit that thing way out of the zone. Here's Miguel Andujar now. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2-0. Oh. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Ford is off of first with two away. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. As a look, now the pitch. Ball three. Ball three. I got three Gio Urshela would be next. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Slap hard the opposite way. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for the Yankees. It remains one nothing. Next to bat for Toronto, Derek Fisher, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Count one and oh. The 1 0 home is offered at and missed for the first strike. A good action on the two seamer there and it's one and two. Take a step back right here after three fastballs in a row there is no chance he throws you a fourth. The one two. I got to count two and two. Not surprisingly here this is on the ground to the right side. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting nine, the catcher, number nine. Striding in, Danny Jansen. First pitch of the at-bat. 
curveball and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Bases are empty one man out. Fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. A one and two count to the Blue Jays signal caller. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Into the corner and slicing foul. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. Two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Base hit, line drive into the corner. Throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. And he just blasts this thing down the left field line. I thought it might bend foul, but it lands just inside the chalk, and he's able to leg it out for a double. Good-looking swing. Into the box, Bo Bichette. This he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at-bat. And this misses as well, so it goes to 2 0 now on the Jay shortstop. From the belt, the pitch. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right, out of play. The 2 1. Misses above the zone for a ball. Kevin Biggio waits on deck. Runner at second here with one man out. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. The batter number eight. Second base. Kevin. So digging in now, Kevin Biggio. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First delivery to him on the way. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. Now back. Digging in now, Lourdes Gurriel. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gardner is there. And that ends the inning. Blue Jays leave a pair, but they're on top one to nothing. Leading off the inning, Gio Urshela. And they'll need him to get something going here. The third baseman, Gio. Urshela. First offering on its way. Hey.
Urshela, a Colombian born ball player. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. One ball, two strikes. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Into the box now, Kyle Higashioka. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. The 0 1 pitch. Whoa, yeah. Everything this guy throws moves, and that two seamer has a mind of its own. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Yankees still on the lookout for hit number one here. And he's able to fight this one off foul to the right and the count will hold at one and two. The pitch. That misses and we're even at two and two. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Under this one is Gritchick and there are two away now. Up next to the Yankees, the center fielder, Brett Gardner. Here's Brett Gardner now. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Two and oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And he's going to make the catch. And he paid a big price for it too as he crashes headlong into the wall. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. Don't touch that dial or the remote for that matter. More on the show right after this. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Settling in now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he fouls this one off. The wind-up and the 0-1. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. And he lays off for a ball. Two and one. The count is two and one. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. But this will land untouched. The 2-2. Hit hard on the ground to the right. A dive and he knocks it down. 
And there is some stick to it of this as they still manage to get the out at first. What a play. Brandon Drury. Brandon Drury will bat next. Flyed out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And now pitch on the way. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. One ball and two strikes to count. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. And there's out number two. Up next to the Blue Jays, the center fielder, Randall Griffith. Randall Grichik at the plate now. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. One run, two hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. That evens it up, one and one. I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did it's ruled a strike. Tough curveball that time but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Tough pitch to lay off there but he did and it's even up at two and two. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Hit back up the middle. Gloved by LeMahieu. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. But they lead it one to nothing. Ready now, Torres. He, he was Four a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. In comes the center fielder. He's there and records the first down. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron. Here's big Aaron Judge. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. no hits and no errors for the Yankees so far outside two and one hit in the air down the right field line but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball here now the two two a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Three-two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. 
shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled off. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. Uh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run a good, hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. Giancarlo Stanton now. And that misses ball one. Two and zero to the Yankees left fielder. Talk about certain guys in a lineup that you want to be really careful with. This guy right here is one of those, and you can tell he's pitching awfully cautiously. Now the two zero is taken. Strike one. You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you'd normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. The 2 1. A bouncer to the left side. Throw in time, and the side is retired. 1 2 3 go the Bombers. They're down 1 0. Riding forward now is the DH. To Oscar Hernandez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch on its way. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball kind of front hip. Your first move is to bail a little bit and kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Two balls, two strikes. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Derek Fisher the next to bat. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Oh. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 0. Oh. Yeah. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Torres picks it up. Throw gets him. Two down. Now batter. Number nine. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in Danny Jansen. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. And it's fouled away. 
two out, nobody on. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Fair to say? Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. The three of us are back after this message and a word from our local stations. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMay here. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. And the pitch. No balls and a strike to count. Man, the batter's eyes lit up right there. A hanger just a little bit out in front. Couldn't keep it fair. The windup and the 0-1. Oh, yeah, and this high. is high, a ball and a strike. <laughs> Line towards center field. Richard is there and he has it for the first down. Now that he got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Ready for another chance? Mike Ford. He drew a walk his first time up. Now the pitch. Too high, 1-0. Oh. Change up low, 2-0. and oh. They obviously circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them. Walked him his first time up, and now they're nibbling again. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. You get yourself into count leverage 2-0 right there. You're looking to come unglued on something and be very aggressive. That ball had to nip the corner for him not to pull the trigger on it. It's down for extra bases, and the Yankees have their first hit of the game. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Hey, this team has been shut down offensively up until this point, Dan. But right here, team's first hit of the game in the fifth inning. Let's see if it sparks them offensively. You know, this will be interesting, D-Row, to see if they can crack this guy's code. A lot of times, once you get that first hit, several begin to fall after that one. So it'll be interesting to see if this guy can put the screws on this one and tighten things up and not allow any more base hits. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right. Fisher is over near the line now as he makes the catch for the second out of the inning. So stepping in, Gio Urshela, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Nope. And that misses for ball one. And 2-0 and as this one's taken low. With two outs and a base open, I don't think he's going to see anything to hit and miss at bat. Not much reason for it. 
Here's the 2-0. Liner towards second. That's in there. Base hit. And the tying run comes around to score from second. It's 1-1. One one. Boy, there were big RBIs and big base hits, Vero, now but none more Kepler. than with two outs. A big two-out knock right there. Not only ties things up, but keeps the inning going as well. Yeah, just a great approach right there by the batter. You never know when your number's going to be called. You always wanted to pass the baton to the next guy behind you. Take the donut off your bat and trust in the teammate behind you. That is a huge knock and keeps the line moving. Kyle Higashioka stands in as he looks at ball one here. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2-0 now. Three and oh now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Here it is, the 3 0. He is looked at for the first strike. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game. Adam fooled as this is popped up back behind short. And Bichette's got it. The side is retired. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. Mark, Dan, and I are back with more after this. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Lead Stepping off. in, Bo Bichette. It was a walk in his last Number trip. 11. Now here it comes. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. Oh, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Double-barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. A wind-up and the 0-2 pitch. Nope. That's inside. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Line drive to center field. Gartner is right there, one down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Now at the plate, Kevin Biggio. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. One out, nobody on. Ball one. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. And he chased it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Figgio is retired. Two down now. The bat. The left fielder. Stepping up to the plate, Lourdes Guriel. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Curveball that well, misses in the dirt for ball one. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor, 1 0. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. 
skied down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The 1-1. One, one. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. Blue Jays go down in order. Score remains deadlocked at one. Digging in now for the Yankees. Brett Gardner. 0 for 2. He's flown out twice. Here's the first pitch to him. In there. 0 and 1. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Fastball runs off the outside. It's one and one. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two seamer moving away from a left handed hitter didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. The one one home. This one to right field and deep off the bat of Gardner. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And the Yankees take the lead. It's 2-1. to one. There's still some game left to be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. In now, Torres. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. No hits to this point. That misses 2 and 0. Oh. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Base is empty here with nobody out. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky, stole a strike. Full count, three and two. And the payoff pitch. There's ball four. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3 2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. So a runner at first now with nobody out, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. From the belt, kicks and deals. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. A runner at first with no outs here. And that misses two and one. You know, he was really pounding the strike zone early on, but he's kind of gotten away from that here a bit. He might just need a little reminder to attack hitters and trust his stuff. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. The three one. Count full, three balls and two strikes.
Now the payoff pitch home. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Well, it's obvious that earlier home run he gave up is still on his mind. He had him three and two, but he didn't want to give him anything over the heart of the plate to hit. So we'll see if that walk comes back to hurt him. Here comes a Toronto skipper out toward the pitcher's mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Wilmer Font takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Number 63, Wilmer Font. Giancarlo Stanton will be his first test out of the bullpen and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. Curveball taken outside to begin the at bat ball one. Well should be two and oh but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one and it's even one and one. None out, runners at first and second. Fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he fouls this one off. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Curve ball bounces, and that gets by to the backstop. So now two men in scoring position. Well, you live by the sword, you die by it, too. He went with an off-speed pitch down in the zone, and that's the risk you take there. The catcher can't come up with it, and two runners advance. Now they're both in the scoring position. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 pitch home. Full count still. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Another payoff pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land untouched. Scorched to third. And he's safe. And that's the first down. Now back. The second baseman. DJ. LeMayhew. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Runners are at second and third with one down. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. A little early and now it's even at two and two. From the stretch. Three and two now. Mike Ford will be next. And he looks at one that misses ball four. So that'll load him up, but at least the double play is in order here with one away. 
And with now first that. base open, the last the thing he wanted to do was One. give him something to hit in the heart of the zone. Oh. So no harm done. Force out anywhere now. Standing in, Mike Ford. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at-bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. And that'll score the runner from third as they'll open up a 3-1 to one lead. Well, that's a tough one right there if you're a pitcher, Dero. You think you make a decent pitch, ball hit to the hole right through there. You're hoping it can get knocked down. Instead, base hit, run batted in. Yeah, and as the batter right there, you're taking off your batting gloves, giving dabs to the first base coach. Glad that that found the hole right there. Ribeye steak, chalk one up. In the dirt and block behind the plate. No movement on base, it's ball one. Bases are loaded with only one out. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. From the belt, the pitch. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. As a look, now the pitch. Ground ball to second. This could be two. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. We're through six full. The Yankees lead it three to one. Adam Ottavino is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number zero, Adam Ottavino. Seventh inning ready to roll. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one the count. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Look out, 1 and 1. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Now the 2-1 pitch. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The first base is number three. Brandon Brewery. In now, Brandon Drury. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. A ball and two strikes now. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. The one two misses for the second ball. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not but I liked it. 
as a pitcher sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside you can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you and a swing and a miss here so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Here's Randall Gritcher. As he'll take a look at ball one. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 1 0 home is laid off, but in there for strike one. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing, 3 to 1 our score. 1 and 2. The count is 1 and 2. Now the pitch. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Justin Miller gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 60, Justin Miller. Miller. Now at the plate, Gio Urshela. He's one for two in this one. The third baseman, Gio Urshela. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. Ball one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0-2. Didn't get it, though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1-1. One and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2-1. Hit weakly back to the mound. Oh, and a look what I found out there on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now batting. The catcher. Kyle. Higashioka. One gone here in the Yankee seventh. And up to bat next, it'll be the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. From the stretch. One out. Bases are empty, one man out. Hey. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Hit on the ground out to short. Bichette picks it up cleanly. And that's the second out. Now back, center fielder, Brett Gardner. Brett Gardner will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. First pitch on its way. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 0.
That's and he lays three. off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2-0. Outside, 3-0 and now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three and one now to Brett Gardner. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Drury fields it cleanly. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Eighth inning coming up. The Yankees lead it 3-1. to one. Chad Green has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 57, Chad Green. All set for the start of the inning, so that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here comes the first pitch. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that for a strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Ball and a strike. Green has proven to be a guy that throws strikes coming out of the pen and doesn't walk a lot of batters. Boy, to every manager and pitching coach, Matty V, they love to bring a guy in that they know one thing. He's going to throw strikes and not beat himself. And this guy is certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. Fouled off. Ready to deliver the one and two. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. And it's a full count. Three and two to the Blue Jays DH. Yeah, well down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tied run to the plate. Ground ball sent back up the middle and into center field a base hit so early trouble here to start the eighth inning. You know D. Rowe, there's been some great pitching in this one so far after that knock that's only the third hit of the game and we're getting late into this one. Yeah they always say you got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes well I think this offense is tired of tipping its hat. They got to start to swing the bats a little bit better that's their third knock of the game. I know it's late but maybe they can get something going. That's lifted the other way out to left. Stanton has a read on it. Makes the play one away. Now batter. Number nine. So a runner at first now with one away. And that'll bring in Danny Jansen. He's set. Here it comes. One oh. No strike. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first base. The entire defense is on guard, and you know probably there's a fastball coming. 
eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. All even now, two and two. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. Now batter, number 11. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and into bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. From the belt, kicks and deals. A runner on first with two away. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Waits, now the pitch. Two balls, one strike. Can't waste getting the leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. Here now the 2-2. is laid off and the count runs full. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Blue Jays held in check. Score holds. It's three to one. Wait, Billy McKinney is into the, the game as a defensive replacement Blue now as he takes over in right. Now playing right field. Number 28. Next for New York, Torres. He'll see McKinney. what he can do leading off the home eight. Leading off for the Yankees. First offering on its way. Bottom part of the zone and the slider is in there for a called strike. Ball. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. McKinney is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron. At the plate, Aaron Judge. It was a walk in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. Now the 0-1. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. 
On its way, the 0 2 pitch. One Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. It's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. It's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting fastball middle away, and when that slider came out, boy, did it look like a heater for a long time. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Now the three and two pitch is swung on and missed. He got him. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. One ball, no strikes to count. One zero pitches a slider swung on and missed one and one. He's going to step out of the box, adjust his batting gloves, and pray he gets the exact same pitch as that one. Because if it comes again, we like to refer to that one in the biz as a cement mixer. Ball. And there's ball two now. He got two balls, one strike. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Guriel is under this one. And he will put it away to retire the side. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. But they hang on to a 3-1 to one lead. The oldest Chapman comes on from the pen. Hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 54. Stepping up now, Kevin Biggio. He'll be the one to greet Chapman, who looks to put an end to this one. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Called strike 0 and 2. And it's fouled away. The next 0 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't now make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. So now to the plate, Lourdes Guriel. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now the 1-0. Yeah. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Here's the 1-1. A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. One out, nobody on. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now.
pitch on the way. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. That's a good job right there. You very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. The 3 2 pitch. Fouled away. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. This is line to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Well, you're usually in this situation looking for a bloop and a blast. He didn't want to bloop it, and he hit a missile. Bring the tying run to the plate. Let's see if they can capitalize. Standing in now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Judge is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The first baseman, number three, Brandon Drury. Into the box now, Brandon Drury. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, that's off the plate. Two out with the man at first. And even one and one count to Brandon Drury. Now the one and one pitch. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. To two balls and two strikes now. Final strike for the Blue Jays. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Man, a hitter must feel hopeless against that kind of guess. That final pitch was a 100 mile an hour fastball and this thing is over three to one the final score this afternoon New York earned the victory despite only collecting four total hits Jordan Montgomery earns the victory on the mound so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Pleszak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the